Hello, power users. In today's video, we're taking a look at another great effect you can achieve with the GSAP scroll trigger feature, video scrolling. This will let your video of choice play only when the page is being scrolled, opening the door to some amazing design options. As you can see here, the video isn't playing when the user isn't scrolling. As soon as we scroll, the video plays. Essentially, we've mapped the video playback to the page scrolling. To achieve this, we can use a video widget or a video background that we've uploaded in the style options of the container. Either way, the video will have to be self-hosted. For this example, we will use the video widget and add it to our container. This can be a new container, or it can be a container we already have other elements that we intend to animate with GSAP. What matters is that the container needs to have a unique CSS ID and have its view height be enough to scroll through the video at the desired speed. This is because the container's view height will determine how much scrolling needs to be done to actually carry out the animation. The more view height, the more scrolling we'll need to do. Let's also set it to be sticky to the top in the motion effects menu in the advanced tab, along with toggling on stay in column. It's important to note that in order to have our video animate and scroll correctly across all browsers, we will need our video to be encoded with a specific codec. This is not a GSAP or GLUE limitation, as much as it is a browser limitation, but we can work around it using FFmpeg, a popular framework tool, among other things, encode videos to the exact format we will need. We prepared a very complete guide to FFmpeg for you. Link in the description. Let's upload our converted video to the widget. The video needs to be self-hosted on your website. Make sure the metadata is being preloaded, and that of course we aren't showing player controls. We will need to give a CSS ID to the video widget as well. With that done, all that's left to do is setting up the GSAP event or tween, as it's more properly called. Find and enable GSAP the advanced tab of the Elementor Editor page settings under the Interactor menu. Toggle enable timeline and timeline scrolling on as well. We don't need to touch any parameters inside these two options for any of this to work. We invite you to explore our other GSAP tutorials, which go deeper into all these options and more. Let's add a new item in the GSAP event section of the menu. In the drop-down menu just after the title, we will need to select Elementor Video. Let's set the function to Tool, so that the video will play forwards when we scroll down. The trigger element is going to be the container the video widget is inside of, so let's paste its ID. The target is going to be our video widget's ID. In case we're using a video background, then the target will be the container once again, which will mean the trigger and the target will be the same. Let's not forget the hashtag symbol, since they're both IDs. Event scrolling needs to be toggled on, and we've set the canvas settings to start at top top and end at bottom bottom of our container and viewport respectively. The next thing is to make sure that we have some animation chosen, any will do. And here in the video settings if we want, we can set start and end timestamps. Please note that we must maintain the time format as shown in order for this to work, and that if no timestamps are set, then the animation will span the entirety of the video length. After we've set everything up, let's take a look at the results. We can see that by scrolling, we're actually playing the video forward. It's of course recommended to make the video as optimized as possible, otherwise the performance will be impacted. This alone is very impressive, but keep in mind we can combine this animation with any number of other elements being animated by scrolling. Even 3D models thanks to our 3D model widget. We'll have tutorials for everything in the description. Thank you for watching. We'd love to receive feedback, but most importantly, see your new and crazy designs powered by all the Glue GSAP features. So don't be afraid to share them in our Facebook community. See you next time.